Sometimes I just feel a little bit crafty and today's one of those days. What am I talking about? Well, stick with me as we jump into it and I'll share it with you. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about uh, recipes for cutting craft foam. Now, this is your atypical craft foam. It's about 1.7 millimeters thick. You can pick it up at Hobby Lobby online, kind of really popular stuff. I use it for a lot of different things. And what I want to do is cut this with the laser. Now, a little bit of a PSA up front. So I have no idea what fumes this puts off. However, as you can see over here and in prior videos, I do have a very sophisticated negative pressure system that evacuates all the fumes from this outside and outside of my shop so they're not building up. So with that being said, what I've done is I've set up a couple different um, tests for this and so we're gonna really run two different tests one with speeds and feeds and the other is going to be on color I'm gonna start with a darker brown and then we're gonna do a white so let's go ahead let's jump into it let's cut this out and then I'm gonna cut this one out and then we'll meet back at the bench and we'll talk about the results let's go Wow, this is interesting. First, I want to talk about the brown uh, craft foam first. So again, as I mentioned, I checked this. This is about 1.7, 1.8 millimeters thick. So as you can see, the white barely was cut. Now I'm going to come back to this in a second. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute. And we're going to take a look at the brown. So as you can see in the brown, so I cut it at 30 with one pass, 30 with two passes, 40 with two passes, 40 with three, 50 with three, and 60 with four. And I kind of wanted to see how they came out. So I'm going to turn this around in the back. So so one is on this side. So the, the 30 by one uh, just barely cut out a few sections. The 30 by two cut out pretty good. The 40 by two still left a lot pretty much equivalent to the 30 by 1. The 40 by 3 I think did a pretty good job and then I upped it to 50 by 3 uh, which is not as good and then 60 by 4 uh, dropping it here and so if I go to pop this out I can get this one out pretty easy. Uh, I should be able to get most of them out but I think the best is 40 by 3 uh, came out with probably the least amount of burning. Um, th 30 by 2 is not bad, but still I think I got a little bit more charring. Let's let's see. Uh, just a, Yes, I got a little bit more charring. Maybe I'll see if I can zoom in. I got a little bit more charring on two than I did three. This is one of the big functions that I've been discovering with the laser is, is again, it's better to go faster and more passes than it is slower and fewer passes because you get, seem to get more charring uh, with the slower with the fewer passes in slower speed than you do the faster speed more passes. Now, with that being said, um, I, you know, I think we got a recipe for this. My suggestion is to start at 40 by 3. Uh, I think even 40 by 4, if you want a complete cutout, would be good. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk now about uh, this. I'm going to run the um, video in the corner for this. This barely, barely uh, etched anything out here. There's a little bit of embossing for the numbers, which are 50 at one pass, but none of these... Um, came through the back with this white and the reflection of this was huge huge very very dangerous uh, I'm really surprised with this because I cut uh, white paper with this all the time uh, but apparently because of the color it can't absorb or doesn't uh, absorb the heat like the brown does to, to actually vaporize the foam so this is really really interesting you know the closest one that made any sort of damage is the 30 by 2 uh, did get a little bit but I can't 
none of these are pop outable or whatever so none of them went through enough to even pop them out so you could probably do white you would have to do it uh, pretty slow and with many passes uh, but yeah this this really surprised me I didn't think I, I expected it not to be as good as the brown but I did not expect it this poorly so in this recipe you know the darker ones obviously seem to cut better because I have cut a number of colored foam in the past with different recipes and that's why I wanted to do this because I kind of wanted to lock on to a good recipe which you know here I would call 40 by 3 you know so 40 millimeters a second three passes I think uh, do you know, well however the white just nothing really so you got experience cutting craft foam like this uh, have you cut white what's your recipe for white again I'll be kind of putting together recipes as I go along for different types of uh, materials so again to kind of save you some headache now the one thing is with a lot of these it's becoming very clear that again um, speed versus pass is, is a pretty good ratio so because I originally started with the 30 by 1 and that, and that kind of cut it out where I could pop it out so I knew this was a good starting point so that's where I figured uh, 30 by 2 would definitely allow an easy pop out but then it becomes a function of if I'm going to do uh, 30, 30 by 2 then the next will be 60 by 4 if you see what I'm saying so if I double each one of these numbers 30 to 60 and then 2 to 4 then as you can see it pretty much works out and uh, uh, it, it, it you know pretty clean cut on that one too but I think the most efficient is still the 4 so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did give it a big thumbs up be safe with the white a lot of crazy reflections off this make sure you have quality glasses and I would suggest not even looking at it while this is going on until it's done uh, swag shops up there the like buttons down there give it a big thumbs up subscribe over there and we'll catch you in the next video where we test something else out cool cheers please click right below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on